Good morning, everyone. This is Murray Fife at IBIS, um, where, and again, th uh, thank you, thank you, everybody. Today, we're going to um, give you all an overview of something that's really interesting and something that uh, probably everyone can take advantage of, and uh, it's the Dynamics AX companion apps, which have been delivered out by Microsoft. And some some of you may have seen these, and we're just going to go through them and have a look at what they are, um, how they work, and uh, now for what we're going to what we're going to do is we're going to talk about these applications. There's a lot of or a number of them that Microsoft have delivered out, and uh, also if you go to if you look around, you'll actually find that there's a number of uh, other third-party companion apps which have been created, which are really useful as well. But today we're just really going to focus on the, um, the ones that are delivered by Microsoft that you can uh, leverage using the Dynamics Connector that Microsoft has delivered. The, there's a number of apps that we're going to look at. One, the first one we're going to look at is an application called the Business Analyzer. Uh, that is really a way that you can go out and you can publish out a lot of the KPIs that are embedded within Dynamics AX to a tablet or to a, a different form factor so that it's easier to sort of access information from Dynamics. The next two applications that we're going to look at are really uh, better ways for employees to track time and track their expenses. So it's the expense report app that allows you to go out and um, quickly enter an expense report into using the um, time and attendance functionality that's in Dynamics AX, and then the timesheets uh, function or the timesheets app allow you to go out and uh, type in or it gives you an easy way to type in timesheets without having to go to the employee self-service portal. And for anyone who's got projects or anyone who's entering in timesheets, then this is a much easier way for you to do that. The next application that we're going to look at after that is really used in conjunction with the expense reports and the timesheets, and that's an approval application. So there's a lot of times where you're going through workflows and you have approvals that need to be performed. So this gives you a quick way to see everything that you need to approve and also gives you uh, a simpler way to manage approvals. Then we're going to look at one of the more functional applications, which is the production control app. Now this is one of the newer ones, and we can see how Microsoft are going out and they're extending out the functionality within Dynamics AX to tablets so that people can wander around and they can actually do tasks from the tablets themselves. And if we've got enough time, we'll also look at the Power BI app because this is another tool that you can take advantage of. It's not necessarily linked directly to Dynamics AX, but it is something that... Uh, you can use in conjunction with Dynamics AX because you're going to be reporting through Power BI. Now, so we're going to start off and we're going to look at the Business Analyzer app. This is one of the easier uh, ones to start with. And really it's just a reporting tool or something that you can give to the executives so that they can access uh, reports and KPIs. And also you can give it to salespeople who are roaming around and anyone who just needs quick snapshots of the information within Dynamics AX. Now, I'm going to share, share my application. I'm going to take you over here to uh, Dynamics AX and just start off by talking about how you can access these. Now, these are all Windows 8 apps. So if you're running on earlier versions, then uh, there's time to upgrade if you want to access these. But all of the apps are available through the store. So if, for example, I wanted to, if, say if I just go search for Dynamics AX in the store, you'll see that there's a number of different applications here. And again, some of them are um, Microsoft applications. Some of them are third party. This one, uh, the CRM ones, are actually pretty cool because that allows you to access the Dynamics AX CRM through a tablet. But what we're going to look at are really the Microsoft ones. 
and we're starting off with this business analyzer. So if you have Windows and you just want to try this out, then um, then here it is. All you need to do is just download it and install it. Now, something though that Microsoft have done, which is uh, which is very uh, very forward thinking of them, is that not everyone runs on Windows tablets or there's a lot of times that you want to go out and you want to access this through an iPhone or an Android device or an Android tablet. So just to, if I look at this, there's a, if I go to the Google Play Store, then all of these applications, you should just be able to do a search and find, for example, the Business Analyzer so that you can run it on Android. Even, uh, even if you go to the uh, iTunes Store, which will pop up in a second, then these applications are all available on that platform as well. So that gives you the, uh, it'll pop up in a second, but that gives you the ability to really pick and choose which uh, application or which um, uh, platform you want to run these on. So iTunes has taken a little bit of a while, so let's slow, get rid of that and stop. Now, if I go out and have this installed, then I'm just going to open up the Business Analyzer and we're going to look at some of the information that's here. Now, th this is, again, designed to be more of a snapshot tool. It's, a, it's the role center to a degree on steroids because you can go out and you can have all of these KPIs set up that you can access. And uh, it's in this case, it's using the modern sort of interface where we're seeing some of the... Um, the one of the dashboards and a couple of KPIs that are set up over here. And then if I scroll further on, then we'll see some charts that have been um, uploaded here that you've set up that have uh, just summary information being displayed. Also, we have KPIs that are set up here in the system. And then also reports, which are more of the traditional reports. So you just define which one of these you want to uh, plonk over here into the system. This area, the first page, is really the first screen that you go to where you can see everything that you're interested in. Say, for example, though, that you don't want to see the net income. Maybe you want to see what the bank balance is, or maybe the, oh, what's that? Maybe you want to see the, gross, the daily gross profit. Then what you can do is you can just right mouse click on the form. I'm going to drag this over. And now we've got a new view here where we're seeing the, gross, the daily gross profit. Then all of these KPIs that are over here, you can do the same as well. So if we look at our KPIs, maybe we want to see the um, open accounts, uh, 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 receivables versus payable. Then again, you just go and grab it and drop it here onto the dashboard. And now you have that view uh, for those KPIs where you can see just the information that you're interested in. So... Now, if, for example, you have more KPIs uh, that are loaded in the system, say, for example, the uh, days payable outstanding, then these will show up as a KPI, but they're not showing up on the dashboard. To add them, all you do is just select it. And now that KPI is going to show up here in the available KPIs, or you could get rid of some, or you could go out and add some additional reports that are here in the system so that you've got more, uh, more detail. But you don't want to clutter your view, you just want to go out and uh, sort of streamline it so that you can see the information. Now, not everyone wants to see uh, the gross profit. So if I uh, right mouse click on the dashboard, then I can ch go to the roles and I can change who I am. So I could become a sales manager. Now I'm seeing sales territory information, the quarterly KPIs and different dashboards that we've loaded in here or that's loaded in the demo system for this role. Or I could go out and I could choose the accounting manager and I'm seeing financial information and budget information within the system. Also, we have the ability to swap between companies. So I'm in the Contoso Entertainment. I can change to Contoso Consulting. And then all of this information is going to change. This is a British company, so it's showing everything in pounds and I'm seeing more information as I'm drilling through. Now I can also drill in to any of these reports and view them in full screen here through the system. So, so all of this, all of these views that we're doing and all of the, uh, 
the ability to drill into this information and filter it out is, um, is built in here from an executive standpoint. And the final thing that I'll show here before we move on to some of the other applications is that these reports are interactive. So I can filter these out. I can look at this by, by month, by quarter, by year if I want to. I can look at it as a, a stacked column chart. I can look at it as a line chart. I can look at it as a detail form here as well so that I can just see the tabular information and also break it out by customer group and a number of other different dimensions. So all of this information is coming from Dynamics AX and it's just a great way to roll out reports to users that not necessarily need to be logged into a Dynamics AX. So what, what we've shown here is really just, is one of the applications and that's the Business Analyzer, a simple tool uh, for rolling out these reports but still a really good, a good tool for you to take advantage of. Now the next, what we're going to do now is we're going to look at one of the uh, other, some of the other apps, some of the apps that are a little bit more functional. And uh, we're going to start off with the expense reports. So anyone, uh, if, you're, uh, if you're like me, then whenever I'm, I'm traveling, uh, going, going on the road with the Ibis, then I've got the next task I need to do is I need to create my expense reports. And uh, we use the employees uh, portal to upload all of our expense reports. But I need to go out and I need to scan in my receipts and I need to put any justifications in there. So it, although it's very functional, it would be nice to have a better way, maybe ha ha even have a better way to... Uh, enter in the expense reports maybe through a phone or as I'm taking the expenses. So what we can do is we there's another application that we can use which is the expense reporting application. It, it not only allows you to enter in expense reports, view your expense reports, um, upload receipts and so forth, but also it allows you to track other information like guests against meals and also gifts if you have to track those if you're in public sector then uh, that may be very uh, may be important to you and uh, then also any transactions that come in then you can reconcile them within the system so what I'm going to do here is let me close out of this and I'm going to move over and I'm going to look at my expenses report. So I've just got this as a tile and I'm going to move in into demo mode here within the expense reports. The, this, uh, the expense report application allows us to, it gives us a summary of all of our expense reports in a, in a nice format but also it gives us the chance to look at all of our expense reports that we've created also see any expense reports that have been reviewed or rejected or approved. Now, if I want to look at an expense report, then I can just click on the expense report and it's going to show me all of the details for that expense report that I created. I don't have to submit the expense report as soon as I create it. I can have it as a work in progress and as I'm traveling around, if I'm um, accruing expenses along the way, then I could just attach it to the expense report over that week or over that trip and then uh, submit it at the end. And I can drill into the expense reports and look at any of this information. So I can see that my, what my car rental was, I can edit this, and it's going to take me into the expense report management form. Now, all of the uh, there's a lot of information here that we can maintain. So, for example, we can maintain... Um, not only the standard information that you'd have within the, uh, uh, within the transaction, but also we can have notes associated with it, activities linked to projects. If I want to go out and create a new expense report, then all I do is I click the new expense report, and uh, I give it a purpose. Um, demonstration. I can say where it is, speech three corners. And then also I can pull up the project that this is associated with. These are all the projects that are 
uh, set up within Dynamics AX. So I can choose that project, I can choose a customer that this is associated with, and also a vendor account. So now I'm going to go out and I've got my, I'm starting building my expense report. So this could be, for example, a meal. And it's for today, and uh, we'll go to my favorite restaurant, which is Pure Taqueria. And how am I paying for this with a company credit card? My, my meal was $12.95. And uh, if I scroll over, then I can also see additional information here. I could say whether tax is included or not. And if I save this, then it also allows me over here to attach receipts. So if I click on the receipts button, then it gives us two options. I could go out and it's going to pull up any receipts that I've stored away against the expense report. Or if I have something with a camera, for example, a phone, an iPhone, or a Windows phone, or an Android device, then I can just t uh, take a photo directly here of the receipt uh, to, on the table and then file that away and attach it directly to the report. So I'm just going to choose one of, uh, I'm going to browse for a file, and I'm just going to go up to my desktop, and I can find something here, Let's see my demo files. And I think I have some sample receipts here that I can go and I can open and I can attach. So, What's that? so I can attach these receipts and have these associated with the expense report. Now, if I have another task here, say for example, I've got, I have a gift, then, and this is, uh, and I want to track this, then I can, uh, I can also track the, who I gave the gift to uh, within the system. I'm trying to work out, and that pops up here after we've completed the transaction. So I'm going back, and I've uh, started uh, creating this um, uh, this expense report. And I can then go and maintain this. I can go and edit it again, and then submit it within the system. So all all of these I can do directly here through the expense reports. Now, if I want to go out and review any of these, again I can just click on them and access them. So going out and typing in expense reports and being able to uh, quickly enter them into the system through something that's more a little bit more um, usable and mobile, like phones or like tablets, is really what we're man what we're able to do here. Now, so that is the expense reports, and we can show, talk about some of the other features later on. But what we're going to do now is we're going to change gears and look at one of the other um, uh, applications that you can take advantage of, and that's a timesheet entry. Now, so both of these really go hand in hand because you uh, you enter in the timesheets, you enter in the expense reports, and you uh, that you need a way or a simple way that you can access those. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at the timesheets, we're going to look at how you generate the timesheets, and also the visualization that you can get from it within the system. So let's return back here to my application and I'm just going to exit out of here and then return back here to my timesheets application. So the expense reports and the timesheet applications look uh, pretty, pretty much the same. They've got the same look and feel and we can go out again, we can see all of our timesheets, we can see the ones that are in review but something that this gives us, which is a lot nicer than uh, to, for reviewing and for approving these timesheets, is a better visualization for the employee so that they can see where all of their time is being spent. So this is a timesheet that, uh, that I already entered in. So you can see that I've got um, some time set up here. I can go into the details and I can see each one of these uh, line items in detail and also I can go and track where I'm spending my time here within the system. Now, if I want to um, open this up and change it, 
then I can just say, for example, I wanted to add in another um, time period here, then all I need to do is click the plus button, and it's going to say how much time did I spend, uh, what uh, company am I working for, what's the project that we worked on, and also what was I working on, and I'm going to create it, and we can see that our timesheet is starting to be built based off the information that we were entering in. So then I worked on um, some software design as well, and it's just adding this through into the system. Again, I can look at the details, and in this case, because this is in draft, I haven't submitted it, then I can uh, drill into this a little bit further, and I could see, for example, any comments that I've got, and if I want to have any, um, uh, later on we'll see how I can have attachments associated with this or reports, then we can view this information here. I can also, again, look at how, wh where am I working, what is my breakdown within the system. Now, after we've created our report and we've built this up over, um, over the week, then to go out and submit this for review and also to have it sent back to Dynamics AX and then also to uh, start initiation of, a work, of an approval process, then all we do is click the submit button. We could say, please uh, see timesheet. And we've now submitted it, and all of my timesheet is now timesheets are over here, ready for review and ready for processing by whoever my um, direct report is. Now, so timesheets are just by using the timesheets, it's an easy way or an, a lot nicer way for users to start recording this information. Where the final sort of portion that we can look at here within, within these, this sort of set of applications is the approval application. So again, all three of these applica applications, the expense reports, the timesheets, and the approvals, really run uh, together as a um, as sort of like a suite of applications that you can roll out. But the approval um, application is really the heart and soul of the system because what it allows you to do is a uh, even though workflows in Dynamics AX are great, not everyone uh, goes to the employee self-service portal to view the uh, expense reports and also not everyone may be logging into Dynamics AX on a regular basis. So having a an easy way to or in a quick way for people to review and approve and manage expense reports is really, really important. So let's move over to my application again. We'll close out of here. Then we'll show you the final step that I've got, which is the approvals. So all of these, all of these expense reports and timesheets that we're given are coming over here and popping up in our pending approvals. So I've got if we look at this, we can see all of the different types of approvals that we've got. So we've got the ability to uh, approve expense reports that have been assigned to us. If we're using projects, then it's important that we can um, approve project budgets and uh, invoice proposals and also budget changes to our projects directly here through the screen. And also we have timesheets, so as people are submitting in timesheets, um, then we can start approving these as well. If I look at an expense report, then as we look at these uh, expenses, then what we're going to do is we're going to see all of the individual items. Uh, for this expense report, because we're uploading our receipts, I can also click on the view button to view that receipt and I can see where it was, whether there's any changes that need to be made. and. Uh, I can see all of the items. If there's an issue, then directly from here we could go out and initiate a link meeting, uh, a link uh, message with the uh, employee. We can also start a link call or we can email them through Outlook directly from here. I can also go and look at the overview and it's going to give us any additional instructions that are associated with this, any um, show us the location 
and show us any of the employees that were associated with these items as well. Now, as I move through this, if I want to accept it or reject it, using, a, uh, using this form factor and using a tablet or a phone, all we need to do is click on the approve button, put any notes that we want into it, and now that expense report has been processed and uh, is now going through to the payables department for payments. If I look at the invoice, the project components that I've got here, then we've got all of these invoice, we can track invoice proposals. Now, with the invoice proposals uh, within the project, we can have any attachments associated with that as well. So if, as I'm looking at this invoice proposal, I can click on the view button, it's going to go out and open up the document here within Reader. And I can go out and look at this and look at any changes that are here. Something, just as a side note, something that people may not know, that if you have a PDF document and you upload it and you use it on a tablet, especially on a Surface, and with a pen, then you can annotate and save these files and any notes that you just write on these documents, even though they're PDFs, get saved away. So it's a great way to um, issue notes or just sort of highlight different areas within the system. And again, I can go out and call, um, call the employee, approve or reject that directly from here. The Looking at project budgets, again, very similar to the projects, we can look at the attachments, and again, we can look at the project plans. Now, the final area is the timesheets. The timesheets is showing us a little bit more information. So we're getting a little bit of a summary on the employee, how many hours they worked, what the utilization was. We can see uh, their utilization trend over time. We're also seeing all of the time that's here. We can look at any notes that were associated with this, for example, if the timesheet goes through multiple people, then maybe it needs to, it would have additional comments here. We can look at the summary of the time, where the time's being spent, but also we can look at this from a project standpoint and see how much, if this is project related, then how much time is being spent on the project and how much time is left. So from a tracking standpoint, then this is a great way to, uh, to manage the timesheets and man and approve them. So all of these can also just be accepted in mass just by selecting them. So if we've reviewed these and they look okay, then we don't have to individually go into each one of these items, we can approve them. So all of these are just finalize the process of when you're submitting expense reports and submitting timesheets all through a tablet-based interface. Now, the next, all of, all of these are, are pretty good, but what, but what you, you'll notice or what, what you'll see is happening is that Microsoft are rolling out some other applications that are very, that are a little bit more functional and specific to certain areas. One of these is the uh, production application. This is a, one of the newer applications that uh, Microsoft have delivered out, and it's really interesting because what it allows you to do is it really mobilizes you on the uh, shop floor as you're performing production, and it allows you to record uh, in real time, and if you're wandering around with a, with a tablet, a, um, an Android or an iPad or a Surface device, and sort of like a ruggedized shell, then it gives you the ability to really perform a, a transactions easily. Also, this is a great way that you can have, create sort of like a uh, MMI interface with production because you can have a touch screen or, or a simple interface that's at a set point within the production area where you're tracking uh, jobs being performed and, fun and defects and uh, break times and all of these things that you want to track for uh, as you're going through and producing products. Now, so this application, now this is a little bit different because it is really designed to be a, a touch screen. The, within Dynamics AX, there are the 
um, job registration screens, which are touch screens, but this takes it really to the next level because as a, as a user, I can log in and it's going to take me in and it's going to show me all of the production that's been, uh, that is currently queued up for me to perform. Now, this, we can see all of these jobs here. And for our discrete manufacturing, we've got around about 13 jobs that need to be performed. If I click on this, then I can go in and look at the details of that job. I can look at how much I'm supposed to produce, and also I can see all of the components or all the ingredients or all the raw materials that are needed for this job. If I uh, want to start this, then all I need to do is just say I want to start this job and now it's running, it's in progress. If I want to start some other jobs, then I could start those as well and then I can filter this out to just see any particular job that, uh, that I'm working on. Also when we go into here we can uh, report the progress so that allows us to report um, uh, finished goods coming out of the production job in real time and also it allows us to uh, track defects which are going to roll back to the production area within the system. So from a so just as a way to start reporting in real time with a, a simple application or a simple interface, then this is, this is a great way to do it. And um, um, hopefully Microsoft will roll out more of these because they're, they're just a nicer way to interact with Dynamics AX for more of the novice users. Now, also along here we've got some other options that we can do. So, uh, so what we have is we can go out and we can look at any messages. So we can post messages here to the specific machines or the machine groups and have any notifications that we may want. We can also run indirect activities. So this, this, is, this is important because what it allows us to do is if for example a machine, uh, machine goes down or maybe we want to track any um, meetings or any sort of non-production related functions then we can do that directly here uh, by just saying that I want to start an indirect activity which is a machine repair and then we'll see that I'm now in a different activity the production job has stopped because I'm now sort of fixing the machine and I can then go out and I can start this job again and my indirect activity um, disappears. So this is a by going out and tracking this information you can get better insight into your manufacturing and where you're having stoppages and where maybe why jobs are being performed. Now the final item here is that uh, if you click on the coffee cup then also you can just uh, break for lunch and put the tablet into or put the screen into sort of like a suspended mode and then start working again so that you can capture additional information about productivity. Now if you're going out and trying to calculate OEE associated with um, manufacturing, then this is a way that you're capturing all of this real-time information because you can manage it here. So these are, this is really bringing the ability to create a, um, to track production away from the traditional Dynamics AX screens and performing these transactions here through the, uh, through a touch screen or something that's a little bit uh, a little bit more understandable for novice users, which is really what we're getting at. So what I've done is, over the past sort of 30 minutes, I've been talking a little bit about all of these, the transactions or the applications that are available for you out that are linked with Dynamics AX. But also what we can do is I'll talk about one last item here, which is the Power BI um, companion app that Microsoft have created. So this is different from the Business Analyzer. The Business Analyzer is specific for Dynamics AX. It's grabbing information and pulling the information out and deploying it out more as a dashboard. But Power BI allows you to go out and deploy out information through 
Office 365 and allows you to really mash up the information from Dynamics AX and maybe CRM or maybe other uh, systems that you're working with and create dashboards. So if you want to uh, roll out this information and again give it to the users in a, in a different form factor or give it to them as a mobile uh, interface where they can go out and just uh, view KPIs on their tablet and maybe as an executive then that may be the better way to do it but also maybe do it in more real time as well then the Power BI uh, application is another way that you can do that so I'm going to return back here and uh, I don't And all of the, just to, to remind you, all of these applications you can just download directly from uh, the Google Play Store, iTunes, and also the Microsoft Store. Now, so I've opened up Power BI, and what I've, the, rather, this is one of the easiest applications to link up, because what you can do, all you do is you tell the system, what is my Office 365 account? And it's going to go out and find that information for you. So I could go out and open up my Power BI reports. And this is going to go out and show me, for example, regional sales uh, by location. It's querying that information up in Office 365 and then pulling it down. And in a second, it's going to show it to me. Any report that you publish up to Office 365 this way uh, from Dynamics AX will become available here uh, naturally within the system and then it has all of the niceties that Power BI really gives you which is the in uh, inline filtering we can go out and we can change the sort orders we can do everything that we can do within Power BI and also we can filter this out so that we just see certain any of the information that's inside of the charts if I go and browse then this is going to allow me to lock look at all of my Power BI dashboards that I've created and uploaded here and then just add these directly to my dashboard here so that I've got, got them showing up here in my favorites. So all of these reports that you create you can now just quickly push out and get every, give everybody access to it and it's through, it's through Power BI so it's a great way to do this but also it's then gives you the uh, better analysis and allows you to access really any of the cubes that are out there. So you could access the standard cubes, you could access the advanced supply chain cubes that we deliver at IBIS, or you could access any of the um, queries that you do through Power, Power Query and Power BI, Power BI and Power Pivot just through this one screen. So again, another application and, and also the uh, the uh, viewer itself is free, as are all of the other applications. So I've got all of these applications are really just waiting for you to use. There's, there's a, in the case of the business analyzer, the expense reports, timesheets, and the approvals, uh, and also production, you do need to go through a, a little bit of technical configuration where you need to point it to your Dynamics AX system or point your Dynamics AX system through the uh, Dynamics connector up to Azure so that then everybody is able to query this information. It's a, uh, it's a small technical sort of uh, exercise that you need to do. You just need to federate your Dynamics AX system with Azure, but then after you've done that, then all of these um, features sort of become available to you on these on these mobile devices. So I've talked and I've talked really quickly and I've shown you a lot of different things. But hopefully hopefully that again, this just knowing that these applications are out there and if you're trying to become more mobile and trying to take advantage really of tablets and and phone interfaces, then look at these first before um, before going out and building your own applications because you might be able to learn a lot from these and also see how, how even how it's connecting back through Azure and through the service bus to get this information out. And I hope everyone enjoyed this presentation.